Okay, so here's a request from P. Cordier. He has requested that maybe I do a list of some of my favorite coins with regards to maybe long-term and short-term coins out there. So I think that's a good idea. So obviously the first one is that of the Bitcoin here for the longer term. Uh, it's not something that I'd be trading on a daily or sub-daily time frame. And, and I utilize heavily the Elliott waves. So we had three, four, and five of three. One, two, three, four, five. We had WXYA. I'm working on B in a way that what I was I was called the um, an expanded flat that I would see going like this. And this may finish right before the forking. Who knows? That's F O R K I N G. Just to be exact. <laughs> A B C. That's what I am thinking. Most are thinking. I think most of the Elioticians out there are thinking in that pattern. Primary reason why I disagree on that is that if the price is going to go that far with a couple of thousand models, if it took this much mojo of the MACD just to bring it down a thousand, from here to, my goodness, it'll have to be a significant expenditure of MACD mojo to bring it down by another 2,000. It'll have to be almost cataclysmic to induce the MACD to roll and pull it down 2,000. So from now until maybe November or so, or end of this month, maybe December or October 25th or so, I don't know. I believe this could climb to above prior higher wave three. And then maybe, who knows, something else will, a news one event shall come about to justify the forecast like this. But it is from here where the where it gets very attractive. When wave four is done, this is this to me will be the wave four. This is an expanded flat, where B goes higher than the prior peak, and the C goes lower than the bot bottom of A. Or it could be maybe swift, very swift. Let's say, I don't know. And if that's the case, then this is wave four. This is my primary count. I am very well aware of the possibility of this crashing just straight down. Yes. My eye is on it. We can actually get this. I am fully aware of this possibility. People are saying, oh, the, sa uh, the Bitcoin gold fork will create this. The Segway 2 will create this. And if I see, if I see an impulse Something like that.
even to the point of wave four only, A, B, so one, two, three, and then four starting, then I will be very suspect of my primary count. If there's an impulse wave down, yes, I would have a stop somewhere around, let's say around here. That's where I would, if this is the actual wave. My stop will be somewhere right after wave one, two, three down, uh, somewhere in the range of wave four up of an impulse down. But I won't discuss that too much because that's not my primary count. I know others are doing that. I understand, but frankly, I don't. This is my count. I believe this was it. A, B might just make it a little bit above. Who knows? We'll find out. C will go in the range of here, 2,500 to 2,000. So I keep it in the middle, 2,100 or so. But more importantly, why I'm picking Bitcoin for the longer term is because of this. So if this is wave four, then we have wave five coming. We have wave five coming. This is where the money will be made. Probably until maybe Q1, Q2, Q3 of next year. I don't know yet. As, as this wave five starts, we'll get a better sense. This is my big picture. One, two, three, four got cut off, cut off here, sorry. One, two, three, four, and then five. And of course, once this counts to one, two, three, four, five, five or five, I'll be taking profits because we've got a massive correction coming to maybe sub 500. So what is my lo longer to my longer term in this case is maybe six months to a year, I don't know. We'll find out. Here's my logarithmic chart of Bitcoin. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, just like the linear chart I showed earlier. But here is where the real long term comes into play. When doing this A, B, C, Bitcoin will be hated. People will be disgusted by it because they would have lost so much from it. Doing this at the bottom of the sea, the mainstream media will say, have a, have a little funeral for Bitcoin. <laughs> Maybe even Andreas Antonopoulos will start crying because emotionally, sentiment-wise, it'll be so such a low point. But I've always said here, be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful, says the Oracle of Omaha. That will be here. And during this one, two, three, four, five or five, when everyone's giddy and euphoric and greedy, you will be afraid and take your profits. Likely, that'll be a nice place. And over here, when everyone is disgusted with Bitcoin and cryptos, all coins, anything digital coin or what have you, this is when you buy. Why? If you buy here, the next step, so after A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these five wave becomes subwave sub wave of, of greater degree wave one. This ABC becomes two. What does that mean after? You got three coming. Wait here. 
this is where I truly look forward to. You're going to see the calamity here when Sue. But this is when you buy because you didn't hear. You get a second chance. And if you buy here, well, this is when your future generations will bless your name many times over for the wealth you'll give to them as an inheritance. Because I think it'll go way past 27,000. in due time. Even in this trajectory, it doesn't mean you won't have scary corrections and crashes and what have you. It will. But from an overall scheme of Elliot Ray big picture point of view, I think this is important to take note. I have this printed out, stuck on my wall. Reminds me. Something's going to happen here. I have not a clue what. Elliott wave is not a perfect technique. That's why there's more than one way of counting the same chart. Now, I have said I love to see and find expanded flat corrections. One, two, three, A, B, C, four. But the destination is the same. Different counts, but the destination is the same. See? And if you buy in here, while everyone's giddy and euphoric, you take your profits. You might want to buy maybe a small token short position and just watch it and see what happens. May amount to something. Watch it here, and then this is what I call the massive profits. The zen of wealth. <laughs> I love these patterns, the cup and handle patterns. This is not a long term for me. Long term is like what I showed you earlier. It's more of an intermediate, medium term. Six months, maybe eight months, I don't know. A year. But I think it'll still follow Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is the moon that moves the tides of all the altcoins who swim in the cryptosphere ocean. Whether you like it or not, I think that's a fact. Bitcoin moves the tides. There could always be exceptions, of course. So here's Zen coin. Very beautiful, very rounded, symmetrical, <coughs> rounding bottom, forming the cup of the cup and then the handle. It's finished, confirmed. It's just a matter of as to when the it's going to decide to finish this wave two and continue on to three, four, and five. So that's my target. Could take longer, shorter, I don't know. We'll find out. But usually exceeds the beginning. Okay, which is right here. So that's it could and this exceeds the target, usually quite a by quite a bit. This is why one of my favorites. Do I have a skin in any of this? Absolutely. Another very nice one to keep for months. Verge. What a beautiful bullish flag this was, and it just busted out of there. Awesome, classic looking. One, two, three, four, five. Impulse wave corrected in ABC. Well, at the same time, forming a, a, a bullish flag. We can see this as like a post. And this flag is pointing downwards, which is bullish. This is how I use my Elliott wave counts and chart pattern recognition in combination. This 
This is real. People call me crazy. I don't care. One, two, three. And I, I, three could be appeal, appeal, appeal. I don't know yet. But my projection is if wave three, which isn't always the longest for cryptos, because quite often wave five is, but it's, I've rarely seen wave one extended in cryptos. And I'm pretty sure this wave one is not going to be extended, or it'll be the one that's extended. It could be three, and it ain't going to be most likely shorter than one. So I, I made it at least equal to one approximately, just by eyeballing it. And that brings it to 0 0.16 for wave 3, 4. Well, correct. And wave 5. And again, I didn't extend the wave 5, really. I made it about the same as 3 for now. Call me nutty. <laughs> but this is one of my favorites. One, what a beautiful impulse this would make. At a... Um, more maybe an intermediate levels, level degree, but... One, two, three, four, five. I've already been called crazy by a few people on this. <laughs> I'm a technical analyst. I only count the waves that I see, that I can do a forward discernment on. This too has a potential. Well, having some ownership here can have your future generations bless your name for the massive profits you can potentially get. So right now it's point zero zero six eight seven tenth of a penny, and it goes to here. I know how many coins are out there. I know what the total <laughs> value of this will be at this 550. I know. But whether you are flabbergasted or not has nothing to do with Fibonacci. Whether you believe it or not has nothing to do with Fibonacci. But here's the thing. Even if it gets to here, Okay, looks good to me. So, the chalice of wealth. I told you I love this pattern. I have had so much good luck with this kind of pattern, even in equities. Cup and handle. I had a mentor once who took m one hour to maybe four hour charts and always looked for this pattern, just around, never mind the handle, just a rounding b bottom pattern. And he would catch it somewhere like here and using the MACD crossing out of what there and write it up and take his profits. He would rinse and repeat, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat, the whole thing. Just about beat every freaking hedge fund out there. Made Jim Cramer look like a poor guy. <laughs> so here's a chalice of wealth for steam. I share in the bullish sentiment with Jerry Banfield on Steam. 
I just don't agree with him on putting dumping everything into one coin. To me, he uh, equates that to one coin to one wife. <laughs> that was interesting, funny. But to me, cryptocurrency investment is not a marriage. Uh, in fact, I believe any kind of investment should be should practice a high level of polygamy. In other words, you should be diversified extensively. And that high level of polygamy is a de-risking strategy. And it makes sense. Now, there's no way of de-risking a marriage by having five wives, right? It's just different. It's like apples and oranges. So, practice high level of polygamy <laughs> in your cryptocurrency holdings. To me, a certain degree, the more polygamy, the better in your cryptocurrencies. Not in your marriages, in your cryptocurrencies. I think the first target could be somewhere around four dollars. You, and then up to fourteen. These cup and handle patterns are extremely powerful, but very lethargic. So let's see how this goes. Here is white coin. Yeah, wh what can I say? I love the cup and handle patterns. It is one of the most robust patterns that I know of. So, let's check this out. Connect the bottoms. That's the cup. I'm trying to come up with a witty name for this. White Queen Cup. I'll come up with one by the time I'm done. So here is the handle formation. And this handle formation is really a flag combined with a rounding bottom for a cup and handle. And look at this bust out. Okay. Oh no. <coughs> Not the ABC, I need to uh, count. Looking at a potential of 13. Why not? It's two pennies. <laughs> so, this is one of my favorites. Thank you, Wendell Will. You are still sleeping. Okay. For this reason, I am going to then po post a few other ones on a short term basis, but I have others. But these are the ones that I think stand out on the top of my mind awareness. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Sorry, I lied. Here's another one Bitcoin Cash. Doesn't have the rounding bottom. But it climbed up to 
It did a classic ABC. A, B, C. Okay. Then it made a one, two, three, four, five impulse. And it is taking it's freaking time to do well it finished the ABC here as well for wave two after the impulse. It did a requisite, but now it's taking its freaking time to do something about this triangle that it's trapped in. So that would make one, two it's going to bust out. It's going to bust out one way or another. Similar to the reason I gave for Bitcoin. Can it crash out like that? Absolutely. Anything is possible. Yes, yes, it's possible. Okay, this is possible. It can break down. That's why you need to use some stops. But when I see the MACD is already oversold and remains oversold, does it have the mojo to take it down like this? I've seen it happen, but possible and probable are not the same thing. They're very different. I'm giving more probable on an upward breakout. But of course, you use your stops. And you look for the indications. This was a five, and this is very three wave ish. So let's see what happens. The apex is right here. This apex is on the 10th. So if I lie somewhere in the 10th of October, so that's about five days from now. So this would be another good one to have in the polygamy portfolio <laughs> of your cryptos. I think that's so funny. I hope Jerry Banfield hears about this. He might get a chuckle. <laughs> the polygamy portfolio, or you know, the AKA the diversified portfolio. <laughs> um, health is wealth. I know you are an avid reader of Jerry Banfield. If you could share that with him, I'd be grateful. If he has any actual response, whatever you can relay back would be really helpful too. Polygamy of cryptocurrency portfolio. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope it's helpful. And of course, I like at the end of each analysis, I hope I have earned the right to ask you for your upvote, uh, follow, and re-steam of this. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. 